One of the things that I love about learning Charlie Parker solos is just that he comes up with those ideas that I would never imagine on the guitar. I want to show you something specific here that I found in the Donna Lee solo on the second chorus. So he has a B flat 7 there after the F7 and he goes like this and then the chord becomes minor so it approaches that but just that B flat 7 there imagine you're playing a B flat scale right? I mean a mixolydian right because it's a 7 chord like a dominant chord so you have a mixolydian scale and he goes So a few things here that are really cool. First of all, the trills, and then also the uh, just utilizing sixteenth notes followed by triplets. So from the fourth degree, a nice trill into the flat five, giving us this beautiful bluesy feel. With this, and he trills into a tension note into the nine. Really beautiful. So imagine you're playing a B flat 7 here and you go to the 4 and you just trill into the 9. That's the first thing. Then that's already 16th notes there. Like you know, swing 16th notes. And then the triplets follow also with a nice trill. So this is just like ta ka ta ta. This triplet here is also going approaching into the six, the thirteen, same thing, and then resolving into the five. So we have a trill from the four in like sixteenth notes, and then this sound. So that's already very interesting for me. Resolving into the three here, so. Five, four, three, and then this beautiful structure here, which you can think about maybe if you had the shell voicing, like a one, three, seven, add nine chord, just like this chord here. But he plays that, and then so he he plays the third, seven, nine, giving us this nice structure. And then approaching from the sharp 5 or, or the flat 13 into the 13. And then root 6, 7. So just check it out now. Again. Up, up to speed. Let's loop that. One, two, three, four. So how do you take something like that and start learning from the phrase? Instead of, instead of just learning a, a phrase, a lick, how do you start, you know, squeezing the juice out of it and getting all those ideas into your playing? Uh, let me show you how I do it. First of all, you can play the phrase. And then imagine that you're doing like a call and response with it. Kind of like completing the phrase as if you're creating an answer. So that can be something like... Okay, so you're inviting that phrase into your playing, playing the stuff you can already play, and it just becomes part of your own style. Another thing you can do is just utilize the bits and pieces that create the characteristic of that phrase. Imagine that phrase like a cartoon, right? It has big ears and maybe like this funny nose or whatever. You know, it has like this image that it's that phrase. So I definitely feel that there's a feel to that, right? Like how does it feel? 
and also technically what's going on. I'm using a trill with 16th notes into a tension note. You know, you don't need to be too specific, but try to be at first. And then triplets into a chord tone, the structure of three notes with some, some leaps in them, like a tritone and a third, a maybe a slide into a tension. Just like internalize them and try to create those around the scale that you're working on, in this case the B-flat mixolydian. Alright, let's try that. So that can be maybe also this, right? Because this is like a sharp 9 free back to the sharp 9 root. So we can go. So already we have more to work with here with this idea. Okay, and then maybe this that can be something like that can be something like or and then putting that together you know you're just inviting that information into your playing of course, after a few days, it will be more natural than when you're working on it subconsciously. There's nothing better than not thinking and just like letting all the stuff you learned come from your subconscious. But right now, it doesn't need to sound natural. It needs to sound like you're inviting new material into your playing. What about this? Well, that can be... Or... Okay. Okay, you see I'm developing on that. So anyway, I just worked on the Donali uh, for my students online on my Improvisers Academy that is available exclusively for people who are in my Galactic Modern Guitar Series where we talk about solos of master players like, you know, Parker, Michael Brecker, and, we, you know, also examples for my solos are there. And we just, like, take them and reprocess them bit by bit, bit so you can come up with your own style with them. And, of course, we also go live every month. It's a new feature that is available for those who are in the Galactic Modern Guitar program who choose to go premium. You can check that out in the link in the description of this video or just like email me if you want to join. It's pretty exclusive right now, but we're opening it up as we go. It's been super fun doing those sessions. Um, anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you and uh, thanks so much for tuning in and uh, let me show my face here. And by the way, if you um, have any questions, let me know in the comments below and also perhaps let me know what's a solo that has been really influencing your style. Something that the last time you checked out or learned, you felt like it's expanding your own style. And um, yeah, and uh, oh, you can also feel free to uh, come up with ideas for upcoming videos. I, I will keep shooting those and uploading. So thanks so much for being here. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.